You got anything to say before we start? Any wise words from Jakai? Yeah, I'm gonna just say it again. Low dirt's better than low Uzi. That's it. Hashtag. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Are you sure? I thought you was a Playboy Cardi fan. I am. But you but like Lil Dirk more? Yeah, I would say it goes like, I listen to Cardi Uzi, yeah, it's like standard, but Dirk's, Dirk is everything. Really? Like Rod Wave 2. Okay, I was about that's, to say. That's top five. Put, P- put Pierre in there too. Put who? Pierre, Pierre, Cardi Uzi, they like, I bumped them the same, but Dirk's above everybody. Dirk is above everybody? I didn't even know, like, you don't look like a type of person to bump Dirk, I ain't gonna lie. I don't. That's fire though. Yeah. Shit. But yo, 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 welcome to another No Regulars Podcast, hosted by yours truly, D.W., D.K. Darris, and I got my brother here with me. What's good, bro? What's good? Yo, introduce yourself if you want to, bro. What, you, uh, what they call you in the hood, bro? My name's Ja'Kai, but they call me G5. <laughs> <laughs> G5 yeah. guy the building, yes, bro. Sir. But if you haven't already, bro, follow us on TikTok at No Regulars. You know, we're already at 43, 43K on TikTok. Sheesh. You know, we blowing up uh, day by day, day by day. Follow us on no Podcast on Instagram. Follow us at all podcasting platforms on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify. And if you want to support me and the guys, you know what I'm saying, leave a review down below in the Apple Podcast because I heard, I think if people put reviews and shit like that, it gets more in the in the algorithm. So it gets put out more for like the recommended and shit like that. All right. Yeah. Go leave a review. Sure. Just leave a review. You don't even got to do much. You could just say, like, put random letters. You could just freaking just put five stars. It don't take that much. It don't take too much time. It takes two seconds out your day. And it will be greatly appreciated. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all, bro. All my No Regulars fans. Happy holidays to y'all. But we got a lot of shit to talk about. A lot of random shit to talk about. I've been thinking about this shit all day, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Freaking. I went out Christmas shopping today. I went to... Me and Jay went to a retirement home. I ain't gonna lie. You ever been to a retirement home before? Yeah. Um. Then we go middle school. Maybe I just went as a trip. You went to a retirement home as a trip? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. That's a that's a low key a little depressing trip. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that. It wasn't really a trip, but like it was something. Like maybe it was like it was, maybe it was earlier than middle school. Maybe it was fifth grade. What the hell? Freaking because Jay's grandma's in a retirement home. Oh, nursing home. Nursing home. Nursing home. Shout out to Jay in the background. But. Like, nah, Jay's grandmother, she be trying to escape. Yo, <laughs> that's funny because my coworker's been talking about that. Like, uh, I don't know if I can say this, but. Hey, bro. It'd be like, the people, in, the old people in the retirement homes, they'd be like horny. I'm not, no, she like, she, I'm dead serious. Like, uh, she worked at an old retirement home. She said this one dude, this old man, like, uh, ran up to her and kissed her. Yeah, like. like she was like the word she ran up and kissed her and uh, he got in trouble. Oh. Now, now she don't walk. Now she don't walk in there if he's not like tied up. I don't know, bro, but it sounded crazy. <laughs> but she said like they all be talking about like you know what I'm doing it with each other and stuff. Like, what like he seven, ran seven year old. He ran up to her and kissed oh, yeah. her on the mouth. Oh yeah. Yo, so just, <laughs> what do you even say to the guy? Like you can't do that. Like what he's in timeout. Well, he has to. He has to get tied up whenever she walks. Like does she still work in the retirement home? Yeah, like like part time. She Yo. she don't walk in. Like she bringing him food. She don't walk in there unless like he's like restrained. I don't know. Really? But. Yo, that's crazy. That's weird. Yeah, she just told me this like literally last week. It's funny. Last <laughs> nah, cause Jay's grandma. She has like I think she has like dementia and stuff. So like she be forgetting a lot of things. Mm-hmm. But like she be trying to escape. Like she be trying to go to the exits and just run out, run out. I remember her her little aide was talking to us. It's like, just make sure you tell tell us like when you guys are about to leave, just let us know because she likes to leave and she has to wear like a wristband now, like a little she's on house arrest. Mm. But nah, that's cr- niggas, the old niggas be horny, bro. That's O D. <laughs> like, yo, yeah. Can you press charges on people like that? But I mean they old, that's fucked I, up. I don't know. Uh, I was wondering, like, when they're in those places, like and like when you, when you have to escape, you can't leave. Isn't that kind of messed up? Like, do your does your family put you in there, or is the government? I mean, I think it depends. I think some families might if they can't, because like I feel like a lot of people in nursing homes are like, I don't know. It's like they either like grumpy old people, not even grumpy old. It's like the parent, the people, either the people that's their children, they can't like support them no more, or it's just they just want to be in there because they don't want to like mess up anything because they have like. A disabled disability or something like that, but like they like the food in there is kind of mid. Really? Like I wouldn't want to be in a retirement home. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, neither would I. Like a ret- or a nursing home. That's really bad. 
Like everybody's just it's like zombies. Oh uh, shit, F that. But you know you know North Korea, right? How fucked up North Korea is? Yep. You know somebody tried to you know somebody tried to escape and actually did? Really? Recently? Yeah, like I think it was like a couple of days ago. Like he was so this is what happened, right? So I guess um he got into like a military grade car and he was like trying to drive to the border and like he made it there and there's like the cops is behind him, like shooting it up, trying to shoot the tires up, but he made it to the board. He hopped out. And he got shot like five times, but he made it over the border. So like once you cross that line, like they can't touch you no more. Like into South Korea? Yeah. So he made it there. But like people was they were still trying to shoot at him. And he was like hiding behind like a little um a log and some shit like that. And then the, the South Korean army was able to get him. That's tough. Good for him. Hey, bro. <laughs> you think you can escape, bro? No, I wouldn't even attempt that, I'm gonna be honest. Oh, I don't uh, I mean, honestly I feel like the only way people would escape is if they realize like what's on the outside cuz I think I think they're all brainwashed I'm not gonna lie oh, to yeah, you 100% they probably didn't even know like you could live normal like this Exactly so like if somebody would have seen like what's on the outside looking in then like see what's on the outside like how everyday life is they'd be like damn my life sucks maybe if I let me try to get there and they're going to try to figure out a way to get out like I feel like that's what that guy did Yeah like you know the crazy rules in Korea bro like, what's some crazy rules you know? I just seen the other day, like, I don't know if it was real, uh, Instagram. Bro, they all ban- them shit is real. They banned laughing and, yes. and, like, parties and stuff for, like, the 10th anniversary of, like, the, the old Supreme Leader. Yes, for, like, 10 days, how bro. You, how you ban How laughing? do you ban... And smi- <laughs> yo, they banned laughing, smiling, they banned the shopping. They, yo, they said they banned, like, fun. How yeah. the hell... Like, how do you do that, bro? Like, they, you tell somebody, yo, you can't smile, we're gonna kill you. Yeah, and the the dude who got um he got killed by a firing squad because he smuggled in uh squid games. Yeah. Imagine dying for squid games. Imagine doing yo, imagine dying yo. There's some other shit freaking. They you can't call people from the outside like you can't do no international calls. Mm. You can't like once you turn 17, you have to join the army. Every, girls and men, like girls and boys, okay. but you have to serve at least 10 years <laughs> for boys and at least seven years for girls. So just imagine, bro. I'm not joining the army. No. If they, if you deny that, they're gonna kill you. Yeah. Everything is death. And you heard about the one where, like, say you're in front of like the Kim Jong Un or whatever, and you fall asleep, they kill you on sight. You heard about that? I did not hear that, bro. There was a, I think it was like a leader or like a a minister or something like that, and it was like a big meeting, and like I guess he fell asleep, like he dozed off, and he got he they uh killed him. By uh aerial aerial gun or some chopper gun or some shit like that, he killed his ass. It's nuts. I, like, I don't see the point of even, like... I don't understand, like bro. That. Like, there's so much... Like, you can't have a certain haircut. Like, there's 28 different hairstyles that you could only have. 10 for girl, ten for boys and 18 for girls. And if you go outside, they kill you. Like, does that make any sense? Like, some of this shit don't seem like it's real, for real. Like, they, really, they got customization haircuts? Yes. Like, it's, like, it's like, like me characters, bro. Like, the I, boys have to have only these 10 cuts. If you go outside, you die. And if anybody goes against the government, like the way they're thinking, how they uh go about things, they go they get sent to education camps where they get tortured until they freaking realize, like, yo, what the government's saying is true. Just imagine that's some shit, bro. Man, I, I really I'm thankful I'm in America. I'm not gonna lie. I am thankful. I ain't gonna lie, cause just imagine I'm a, I can't do that, bro. No, I love my hair. I can't get no no other haircut. <laughs> you can't even get a baldy. If anything, you can't go bald. No, you can't go what bald. If you naturally go bald. They just it's, kill you. It's deed, bro. No, it's deed. No, it's no, done up for you, bro. You better paint your hair or something like that, bro. Crazy. Like nobody can have cars. Everybody walks. Nobody owns cars. Nobody owns no vehicles. Freaking yo, the dumbest one I heard is on Sundays. If you work, you can't use tools. So say you're a construction worker on Sundays, you have to use your bare hands. What's the reason for that? I don't know. I swear, I think they just make shit up. That whole country's a joke. Like, I feel like, I feel like North Korea, bro, is hiding some shit. Like, they're doing all this bullshit to hide something. They're trying to take over the world. Like, uh, what's that nigga name? Was Genghis Khan? He's trying to do. Gang- oh, he was he was North Korean. Oh, I, I think he was uh, Mongolian, but that's oh, in that area. Yeah. But shit, what would you do if you was a dictator? Like, what's some rules you would make? <laughs> <laughs> you could make any rule up any anything you want. I mean, I wouldn't. 
if I had to be, uh, to choose, I wouldn't even want to be a dictator. But I don't think so either. I think you gotta be a sick mind. Yeah, that's not me. I don't. I don't need to rule that many people. I'll take like a. I take like, a good group. A, a good position when you know I hold it. Like maybe I'll be a mayor. That's fine. Like you make rules like that. Yeah. But you you know what I was thinking about? So you know how there's like seven billion people in the world and everybody's somebody is getting born like every second. Yeah. Getting born every second. Yeah. So like say this. Somebody born, there's a possibility right now that somebody that's being born is going to be like the next Hitler. No fucked up shit. If anything. There's a possibility that could be happen. There's a possibility the person being born right now is like a murderer. There's a possibility somebody's like the next president being born right now. There's probably a lot of murderers being born right oh, now. Oh, nah, shit. I heard, I think the, the ratio in the world of how many murders you walk past is like 15 in your lifetime. You probably 15. walk by 15. Like Either. A, like actual murderers? Like, yeah. Like people that kill people. I think it's like 15. So, yeah, watch your back, people. If you see somebody that looks like a murderer, he probably is a murderer. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. But I got this one question to ask you, bro. Uh, hold on. What is the question? You ever heard of Ida? Ida? Eat a dick. <laughs> no, you guys are funny, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I was away. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> Started out the podcast with that. Yeah. All right. All right. I was waiting for this for so long. You don't understand. You don't understand how badly I was. A... That was a good one. Clap it up for me, bro. Sorry, people. I just had to let that go. Jakai fried me earlier this bro, week. I'm the king of those jokes. Like, this these won't happen again. Are, these are the type of jokes that go around with the members, bro. These little cringy jokes. But that shit's funny. I fried you. And it's on film. <laughs> <laughs> it's on record. <laughs> Woo. That's good. You, fr- you fried me earlier, though. And I don't know why I, I felt ca- that I bullshit. I caught Darius with some shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga said. Dude really, dude really thought I cared about the Knicks. Stay ass. <laughs> he said. What'd you say? You said. You um, said you heard about that new Knicks spread. <laughs> He's like, yo, wait, what spread mode? Send me the video. Yeah, spread your booty, nigga. <laughs> yo, I can't believe I fell for that dumb shit, bro. But I got your ass back. That's good. Anyways, now that the air is clear, I, 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 you don't know how long I was waiting to do that. It's, I've been, I thought about this like a week ago. That was tough. You got to dab me up for that one. I guess. Yes, sir. Ah. All right, all right, all right. So, all right. So what's one animal that's not really scary, but you will never fuck with it? Whales, hundred percent whales. A whale, Hell no. <laughs> Bro, whale. that's a good one. Imagine like scuba diving. Imagine just being in like a boat. Yeah, and you see a seventy to eighty foot blue whale, like you, a large ass shadow underneath you. That's true. Them shits is nah. scary. Like you ever seen that video of some girl in the middle of the ocean and she's swimming and a big ass humpback whale jumped up. Oh, hell no. Like it was like ten feet away. And it just jumped up like randomly. Yeah. I would have been so scared, yeah, bro. Like, I'm not gonna lie. And like whales don't eat; they can't hurt you, unless like they jump and hit your boat. But like well, they don't, yeah. they well, don't hunt humans. It's like the orcas, but yeah, those are like sharks. Yeah, I'm, those I'm, are basically sharks. I'm mainly talking about like the blue whales. Like, oh, the big, big the ones. Big ones because like they're just bad paws, like big. Nah, like, I don't <laughs> think people really understand how big they are. It's like an airplane. Imagine being in the water in like a airplane size animal monster. It's That's just the swimming. monster literally just like comes near you. That's crazy. I, probably, I never even thought of that. That was a good one. I'd start hyperventilating. <laughs> You'll just panic and shit. Especially in the water, but anything can happen in the water. Yeah, because they can like, suck you into their mouths. Pause. <laughs> they can suck you into their mouths by accident. That's like, true. Like, really. I think that happened to somebody. Yeah, like in, like in Flapjack. Yeah, I was about to say Flapjack. <laughs> I was going to say chickens. What is that? Like, that's one animal I would not fuck with. Oh, I don't oh, fuck with chickens. Oh. Like, you ever been in, like, seen a chicken coop? And like see them birds just fly around in there. I don't know why. I just I don't, do, I don't like chickens or birds. Chickens, freaking crows is weird. Owls, owls are low low key freak me out. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, owls are weird. But the chickens, bro, I don't like chickens. I feel like chickens are just no, they just creep me out. I don't I don't fuck with no no chickens, bro. I don't think I've seen a chicken in real life. Really? Yeah. Damn, nigga, get out the hood. <laughs> what the hell? You have never seen a chicken in real life? No, not that I remember. I've been to like petting zoos, but I swear there was no chickens there. <laughs> you never been to a farm? No, I've never been to a farm. You telling me they never took to you a farm took you to a farm for like uh yeah. for a field trip? You never been to a turtleback zoo? They I think they got chickens at the zoo. Like in them little farm things. I don't remember. Never seeing a chicken in real life is crazy, I'm not gonna lie. 
We gotta go find some chickens for you, buddy. Do you remember that field trip we went to? I don't remember what grade it was. We went to like that reservation. Were you there? Was that fifth grade? Yes. Uh, the cranberry was that Cranford pool. What, bro? I just said a reservation. Like, like oh, like like, like camping? No, it was like a. It was a bunch of different animals. It I think like, I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember what grade that was. But I think I remember. Why was there animals in there? Well, you know where it was at? It was no, I don't remember. I was. I'm, I'm trying to. I thought you would remember. Nah. That's what I'm asking. I might have seen chickens there, so I'm bringing it up. Shit. I if not, bro, animals. I can find this a chicken coop somewhere. I know there's there might be some shit in Irvington. Bro, people probably got pet chickens in Irvington. Now they, I think they do. I'm mm-hmm. not gonna lie. Freaking, I talked about this before. And uh, by my grandma's house, somebody has a chicken coop in their backyard, and they just I don't know if they kill the chickens. They be making eggs. I think it's eggs, but I think they kill them in the winter time because I don't think they're gonna survive in the snow. Can they survive in the snow? They might. I don't know. Do not ask me. Shit. Freaking. Nah, but I don't fuck with chickens, bro. All right. You believe in, like, cloning? Um, believe in it? I mean, I think it's, like, a fact. It, you you believe that yeah. people clone, get have like clones? Clone people? Yeah. I know you could clone animals, but you think there's, like, you could clone humans? Um, I believe they're working on it right now. You think so? Yeah. You think, like, they've done it? I can't say whether they've done it or not, but I'm pretty sure they're actively, like, working on it. I think so, too. I feel like, like, you know, like, you ever seen, like, that little conspiracy about how there's, like, clones, like, the, the celebrities get cloned and shit like that? No. You never heard of that shit? No. So, I guess, so Luminati, so, you know, so Luminati, right? Mm-hmm. So, supposedly, he thinks that whenever a celebrity goes to, like, jail or they go away for a while, they get uh, cloned and shit like that. Like, you ever know, like, when Kodak went to jail and he mm-hmm. came back, like, he didn't look like how he used to look. And he started acting weird. And, mm-hmm. like, uh, NBA Youngboy, when he went to jail, he came back. Like, he starts liking makeup and shit like that. <laughs> so, it's like, people be thinking, like, they got, uh, when they went to prison, they actually got sent to get cloned or some shit like that. And there's actually a rapper. You know who Kid, uh, I think his name's, like, Kid Boo or King Boo or something shit like that. You ever heard of that? Heard of him? Kid Boo? Yeah. I think. I think something like that, yeah. Yeah. He supposedly said that he has a clone. And, like, he went on live and showed, like, a video of him on live, and his clone walks in and sits right next to him. Hold on. Let me see if I can find that shit. I'm dead serious. Hold on. Where's that shit? Oh, here it is. So, look. <clears throat> that nigga's on live. I'll show y'all the video down below, if anything. You see that shit, bro? Tell me that shit not crazy. What do you think that is? Like, on live, bro. Like, I can understand, like, you know, you could fake it, like, if you record it beforehand. But he's on live with that shit. I'm not saying I believe in clone people get cloned. I think that's a stretch. I'm not gonna lie. But I feel like they're on the verge of, like, doing that shit. I'm not gonna lie to you. Yo, honestly, it looks like that they got the same as that tats. They huh? Supposedly they do, bro. Yeah. Same exact tat, same exact hair, bro. That's crazy. Just yes, mad tats. So exactly. So I don't know. I don't think like personally, me. I don't think that there's really clones that perfect. Like there might be like some. They might. They probably like like you said. They probably trying to make yeah. clones. That seems like cap, but I don't know. Like uh, it's on live, so like I can't. I can't even freaking say. You only got a twin brother. Who will be weird enough to get the same as that tattoos? Hey, bro. I, they already look alike. I hope not. If anything, that's a big ass freaking shit. Freaking, uh, what's that called? Houdini shit. Yeah, Imagine. That movie, he had a twin brother for one trick. What's the trick? It was the uh, the magic movie with uh, Hugh Jackman. Yeah. You know, like you go in a box mm-hmm. and you come out of another one? Mm-hmm. But like, he had a twin brother for one trick. It was something like that. We went in the box and then twin brother came out. But the thing is, no one who hated twin brother. His twin brother hid for his entire life for that one for trick. That one trick. <laughs> that, that movie was good. I don't remember the name, but it had Hugh Jackman. So, really? Yeah. That's on fire. But that's ass. Imagine being hid your whole life just for a magic trick. Imagine that magic trick was ass. Like imagine some bullshit happened. Like, well, he didn't only do it once. Oh, he just continues. He, he did that one trick a lot though, and everybody was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, like it was a big deal. Like in the movie. Like the magicians were a big deal, mm. so, but still. You think that happened? You think that happened before? 
Cause I think I think what magic is, I think all that shit is like misdirection. Oh yeah, it literally is. Like you just look, you think something's about to happen, but like, or you expect something to happen and it don't happen, and it happens a whole nother way. Like somebody's doing some shit behind you or some shit like that. Yeah. But hey, but uh, uh, with the cloning and shit like that, <clears throat> you like if there's clones like that, I feel like only the rich people would have them. Like rich ass oh, yeah. niggas. Sounds expensive. They could, I just what would be the, like? What's the purpose of the clones? I don't know. Just to, I feel like it's just to have one. I don't know. And like, you ever heard of like Bohemian Bohemian Grove, some shit like that? No. So like, it's like an area in California. It's like a campsite where all the elites go. Like all the high up people, like the presidents, they all go there. It's only men, by the way, too, and they go there to have like meetings in the woods. And, like, they come in in, like, cloaks and robes and, like, they worship, like, a big-ass owl. That's that's why they say, like, Drake's, like, OVO like, shit is an owl. Like some Illuminati shit. Yeah, supposedly it's some shit like that. That's where they make all, like, the big decisions. Like, they said they went there to make the decision about dropping the nuke. And it's, like, they, they're, the conspiracy behind that is that they're, like, worshiping some shit. Like, something higher up. Like, only the elite people is allowed in there. Like, only the top of the top people. Like, they see, I think... I don't know Kanye was there. I know Barack Obama was there. And they just be discussing like meetings and shit like that. But I just feel like I feel like um like imagine like those people that go to like the little grove shit, those are the real people, but the people that's like that we know of, they're like clones. Like imagine Joe Biden goes to that little grove and discusses the meetings, but he sends his clone out to go talk to the media. <laughs> that explains why he'd be looking like that in his in his uh his what do you call his speeches. He'd be looking a little weird, right? He'd be looking like he's about to fall asleep. Hey bro. <laughs> I feel like ever since he became president, like nothing has happened. Oh yeah, I mean, I have no idea, but none of that. <laughs> I've heard he been doing nothing. Hey, bro, I don't, I don't politic. I don't know nothing about politics, but I don't, I don't discuss. I don't talk about none of that weird <laughs> shit. Fucking, I don't know, bro. I just talk about the. I'm interested in the news that don't be on the news. I don't know why. Like you heard, like I heard that NASA is launching a 14 billion dollar like telescope that could see into the past. Huh. I don't know. Fourteen billion. They spent fourteen billion. It took fourteen billion dollars to make a telescope that they put into space, and you could see into the past. I don't know how the hell that's possible. Like you could see thirteen point two million years into the past. I need about to say seconds. Didn't you say years? A million years, bro. How? The- I don't know, bro. Wait. Oh. So if the telescope can see to the past, how we could go to the past then? Supposedly. Nope. Suppose supposedly time travel is not really going into time, but it's like going through dimensions. Like say, so this is what this is what it's basically is. So say we are in a bubble, right? Yeah. And then there's other dimensions, like the multiverse and shit like that. There's uh multiple bubbles, and that's in like a big bubble, and like we're all just like floating with each other and just bouncing off like each other and shit like that. But like in different time, different bubbles, like it may be different time periods and shit like that. Like, different uh, things may be happening. Uh, I don't know about that one. You don't know about that one, right? But I've, Supposedly. I, I don't believe in that shit either. I do be thinking about time travel. What I know is, like, I believe you can travel to the to the future. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's, it's not that, like, you can go do, like, the wormhole, which will, like, you know, time will, like, we need the space, time is, like, different. Yeah. So, like, it will, like, dilate you as long as, as long as you're able to physically survive, I feel like you can go into space for like oh a, for like yeah, a year that is true. And come back to Earth, and, and it's like, like five years, five hundred, right? well, or like however, mm, however long. long. Yeah, but, I but, heard about that. But going to the past, I can't visit. Phys- I can't. I can't I don't even think, think of how that would be possible. I don't think like we'll see the dimension shit. That's some weird shit. I don't know about that. But like with going back in time, like I heard about the future shit. Like I heard like once you go to space, like say if you go to space, like I don't know, like light years. In space is equivalent to like like they said if you go to like Mars or some shit like that for like a couple of days, you come back it's like sixty five years later or some shit like that yeah, into the future. I'm pretty sure it's like how however close you are to like a black hole. Mm-hmm. It's like yeah. So you think eventually like if humans just like go into space and just survive, just get in there and come back, they could probably go into the future. Yeah, I think so. I, think I feel like some I've done it before. I mean, it might be hard. I don't know how we would like physically survive that. Because mm. like, it's like really dangerous in there, a black hole. That's like, true. You really get ripped. That's right. <laughs> so you and your ship. Yeah. But who knows, bro? They probably got some shit that they made that we don't even know about. Oh, yeah. They definitely got some stuff. 
Like it might not be that advanced, but they got they got something. Hey, but with this freaking shit, this telescope, because they said they could figure out what's like how the universe started. But if they really got that, there's no reason to hide it. Like they broadcast it. Hey, they said I think I don't know if they're gonna launch it this year or next year, but supposedly. Are you talking about launching it this year? I seen it on TikTok. I don't know if this cap or not. Uh, that gotta be cap. Don't Talk don't kill me, people. I'm just the year. messenger. Don't kill the messenger. A telescope that can see 13 million years in the 14 billion dollars. That should better do something. <laughs> that should better do something for 14 billion dollars. Yeah, what if we see some crazy shit like like some <laughs> real aliens walking the earth? Hey, that'd be wild. Hey, hold on. I was just about to say that, bro. Hold on, let me ask you before I, before I ask, like, talk about this theory I have in my mind. What would you rather go, um, one thousand years into the future or five thousand years in the past? The future. I don't even see nothing in the past. You don't want to see nothing in the past. No. I want to go in the past. I ain't gonna lie bro, to I'm you. I'm black. Talking about going to the past. <laughs> what I'm gonna do? Like, nah, I'm going to the future. You could just see what's in the past. Bro, I got history. Books. Five thousand years. Yo, what the history books is wrong, bro? I really don't like. Like, look, if I go five thousand years to the past, like if I stay here, it's this don't be like a hunting ground with Native <laughs> Americans. They're probably gonna kill me. <laughs> so what? You just want to go see like what's what's it like in the future? Yeah, I gotta see, especially like like recently, like the era we've been born in, like technology is advancing. Like, so go to like year three thousand. Yeah. Immediately, but what if there's nothing left? What if we go extinct? <laughs> Within a thousand years, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be chilling there, like my man, uh, my man Five from Umbrella <laughs> Academy. I, st- I still didn't even finish that shit. Damn, that's so, that's so good. Season I gotta, two. I gotta finish it, cause I don't know, I don't know, I gotta finish it. But so my thing, so if I could go five thousand years in the past, you know where I'm going? I'm going to that period in between Neanderthals and the first humans, cause that's only five thousand years. Uh, I don't know if it's five thousand, but I would. That's how far I would go. I think it's like three thousand years. Like that. I think it's called the prehistory period, like prehistoric period between Neanderthals, which was like three million years ago, and like the first known like human, like that created words, mm-hmm. created structure and organization. Was probably like three thousand years ago, maybe supposedly. Mm-hmm. So in between that period, like we don't know what happened. Like there's no written history about that. So what do you think? What What do you think happened in that period of time? I got a lot of weird shit that I think that might have happened. Because, like, we literally went from Neanderthals, like, cavemen, hitting niggas with rocks, hitting, killing things with rocks, making little rock wheels and shit, and we went all, like, that whole period, supposedly we became how we are today. Like, intellectual beings that could create words, uh, create yeah. structure, shit like that. That That whole period in between how we evolved from that to that is all lost. And nobody knows. They just think like the little Darwinism evolution shit. Like we just eventually made it there, but we don't know how. Nah, that that evolution is cap. It you think is, it's cap? We can't. No, nah, like I don't. I think I think like it's all theory at that point. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Something I personally I feel is something spiritual like happened. It's the reason we even live. To be honest, it's not just like we evolved and became, you know, more than animals through evolution. Yeah, nah, there's no way. I don't think so either. Like, we came from bacteria. Yeah. I don't know. I'm a t- But my theory, but what happened in between there? So, so you know the Bible, right? How they said God made, like, Adam and Eve, and that's yeah. how we became things. What if whoever made, like, whoever wrote the Bible, they used God as, like, a symbolism, and God was, like, extraterrestrial beings, and they took, like, DNA from Neanderthals and created, like, us, like, a woman and a man... And create a whole civilization through that whole period. That's entirely possible. It could be possible, right? I'd be like, I'd be seeing stuff like, um, what's it called? I don't like the spiritual stuff, like the uh, the reptile, reptilian, reptilian things. From, I don't know about all that. That's, that's that just, live among us is like they're the ones who build the pyramids and stuff. Yeah. Like they're like. I can't really say cap because how, how would you know? You, you would never know. It's mad stuff we don't know. So because like think about it. he said, like if. So, what I learned, like, my boss is into shit like this, right? So, he said that, supposedly, the aliens came from another planet and shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, their planet was dying, but they came to ours, and they needed gold. And, like, they created us from, like, Neanderthals, and they changed our DNA to, like, always want to find gold. Because, like, you ever realize, like, why we want gold so much? Like, why do we value gold, like, so high that we really do? 
but it's like it's not money currency. Like you can't bring a gold brick. I don't know. So it's like, why do we look at like got gold on me right now? <laughs> so like, it's like we value gold so much, but like supposedly he, what he told me was that the aliens mixed up our DNA and created us to like mine gold for them so they can save their world or some shit like that. That's why we, that's why in our brains like we love gold, like we value gold so high. And I don't know why, like, cause gold is just an element. Like, why are we treat it like money and we can't even use it as money? Like, we don't got gold bricks. Like if if somebody well gold is money. I mean it is money is has value to it. Like like you put value to gold. Yeah yeah. So like why do we put value to gold like that? It's like so much value into gold. Like is it that rare? There's more rare things in the world. Yeah, that's a good question. I, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if that's true, but like with all this evolution and shit, man, anything is possible because we don't know, bro. Like we just like I like anything beyond like written history, we just guess. Oh yeah. Like freaking dinosaurs. How we know what dinosaurs sound like? <laughs> you ever thought about that shit? Yeah, all the time. I'm telling you, dinosaurs probably look way crazier than how we see. <laughs> like, they probably look like real life like creatures. You know, you know what they said about dinosaurs? They found out that they had actually had feathers. Like they were more like bird. Like they was equivalent to like an ostrich. Like. Yeah. They like they had like they didn't have they weren't reptiles. Yeah. Like they supposedly had like a little bit of fur and like feathers and shit. And like you know how they had little arms? Mm-hmm. That was like, like a wings. Like T Rex had like wings. Yeah, that, like that you know makes sense. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like like what's the point of this? Having arms like this, like walk around like they can't do nothing. I mean they had to balance them out. He was already OP. I, <laughs> that is true. <laughs> but they said like and they you know how like they say a chicken is more like comparable to a dinosaur, like a T Rex, like the way a chicken is made is how a T Rex is low key made. That's what they that's what they say supposedly. Like mm. a T Rex, like the way it's built is like a chicken. So like, chickens can't fly. So the T Rex probably couldn't fly, but it just had like wings, like you know ostriches and shit like that. Yeah, it's probably just like that. So like this whole like I think it was I don't know if it's a proven fact. Supposedly, it might be, but like they figured out like they did had they did have feathers, but they just don't want to change the image of a dinosaur because like we just known it being a lizard this whole time. Oh, yeah, I mean, no point to change it anyways. Exactly. But who was the first person to say how a dinosaur sounded like? They could whistle. We just we just thought they roared because they look like they roar. Like, who was the, like, the, what was the first movie that said, was it Jurassic Park? <laughs> like, the fuck? <laughs> like, come on, bro. Y'all people be... They saw... Yeah, because most... Who really roar? I guess bears? Bears, lions, but they just, like... Hollywood be creating history low-key. Like, come on, bro. Yeah. But I mean, lions roars are crazy. So imagine like a giant T Rex's roar. Exactly, but like, what got... if they don't roar? What if they just like screech? What if they meowed? <laughs> hey, bro, people, I don't believe in a lot of these conspiracies, but it's just fun to look at it, and that's just some funny shit. Yeah. <laughs> imagine a a T Rex meowing, bro, or like imagine like a bat, like sonar, sonar waves and shit. I imagine it's like some like some like scary like anime screech, like a monster. Yeah, like a banshee or some shit like that. Yeah. Shit, bro. Thank God. But, yeah. Fuck that shit, bro. I am not going back to there, bro. Nah, nah. You wanted to go back. I d- oh, yeah. I did want to go back. Yeah. See, that's why I'm I want to go back to look. I don't want to live back there. Like, you know, I'm going to look into the past. You can see into the future. It might not be there. Like, what if we all go extinct? Because, like, you know, there's been, t- like, throughout history, I think we've been through, like, five mass extinctions. Five or six. What if we go through a seventh one? Or sixth one, that'd be ass. Hey, <laughs> you're gonna be. I mean, the only. Nigga are you there? saying we, if we go to the future or past, we have to stay there? No, nah, you could just look into it. Oh, then I'm, I am just like damn. I'm, I'm not even. I'm not even a cap. Like, I'm not. If I see where it's stinked, I'm not gonna do nothing about it. What yeah, no, you can't do nothing. <laughs> like you honestly can't do nothing, bro. That's the fact. Like, yo, like, sucks it's for not my descendants us anyways. But hey, sucks y- for y- my y- descendants. Grandkids, bro. grandkids, grandkids. They got it rough. How do you think we would go extinct, though, if we ever did? God forbid we ever go extinct. How do you think, like, it will happen? Because, like, I remember, I think the last time, what was it, the Ice Age and shit? So or you, you mean, like, soon? Not soon, but, like, if it ever would happen, like, maybe, like... Well, I used to think about this as a kid. Like, when our son dies, it's done up for us. Yeah, what, we just get, it just gets cold, right? Like, we're, we're, like, we'll literally freeze to death. Like, almost, mm-hmm. Well, it's going to take, like, after the son dies, apparently it'll take, like... Three billion years. Three like years like for you to us even see it. But when that happens, when it goes away... Like, the Earth is done. So, like, we really are in, like, a time limit. Mm-hmm. Unless we really 
not just leave the planet. We have to leave the solar system. The galaxy. The, like, yeah. Like, but, hey, who knows? Maybe we're that advanced. We can go to other galaxies and shit like that. Maybe. But remember that little time thing? Like, there was, like, a little uh, time clock on the world. Not the World Trade Center. The um, Wall Street that said, like, if we if we don't, uh, what's it called? Recycle and shit like that, then oh, yeah, we can't like reverse the, the effects of global warming. Global warming Is that shit still going on? Like, are we still, like, nobody don't give a fuck about that shit. <laughs> I think I think global warming is real. I don't know how. I don't know how deadly it is. I'm I'm not sure. I feel like if like we go extinct, like it will be because of global warming. Like I don't think the sun will like because the sun goes away. I feel like the sun's gonna like expand and everything's just gonna get mad hot. Well, Everything. Yeah, that and like the the carbon, mm-hmm. like, like pollution, whatever. We sound like scientists. <laughs> <laughs> you talk about carbon and shit. I'm like, oh, hold on, let me go. No, nah, I, I don't it. really know what to be saying, but like. They be sounding convincingly. Like, Damn, bro. Yeah, we really need to stop stop littering. Hey, bro. I try not to litter. I try to recycle as much as I possibly can. People, do you recycle? We what they watching you, but the government watching you. Your friends be tweaking. I'm talking. I'm not to say who throwing entire <laughs> food bags out the car on the highway. I just be looking like. Damn, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I can already. I already know, bro. I already have a feeling who that shit is, bro. Fucking, bro. All right, yo. I got a question. This is mad random, right? So say there's five. Five niggas on you, right? Pause. Five guys, mm-hmm. sixty-five and up. They about to jump you. Can you fight them off? 60. Sixty-five, sixty-five-year-old grown men. Five of them. They're they're jumping you. Do you think you could beat them up, or you think it's deed for you? Beat them all up? Like you talking to me? Just sitting there, like just piecing them one by one? Yeah, piecing a bunch of sixty-five-year-old grown men, bro. Yes, honestly. <laughs> you think you're fucking them up? Bro, like, they're not catching me, so, like, I'm really throwing quick jabs and moving back until they tire. All right, say you're in a, say you're in, like, a room. Oh, you see, no, then. Okay, okay, not a room. I'll let you be outside. I'll let you be in a park. Yeah, That's fair. Five people, it doesn't even matter if they, I'm going to But one of them room. sneaks you, though. Being sneaked by a 65-year-old man. Hey, bro. Some niggas be down bad. Some niggas be doing ass. You mean, like, I'm just chilling, he just, they just want to come sneak me? Hey, yeah. I can't do nothing about that. But once I get up, it's, up, it's over for them. You gonna fuck about? I feel like unless he really get me with that one punch. Cause them grown like sixty five year old niggas, like some of them niggas low key be aki. Yeah, they can. That's why. So I, like, <laughs> like it might be D from I the mean, jump. If I'm facing like sixty five year old Lebrons, then I mean, I'm <laughs> maybe not. But I'm I'm assuming regular average Jews. Yeah, I'll give you I'll give you regular people, yeah. regular people. Hey, yo, just imagine that shit, bro. I think I think I couldn't like they're gonna be beating me up at first, but like they're gonna get tired, and once they get tired, like that's why I'm gonna go crazy. Like I'm haymaker, boom, rocking niggas left and right, kicking niggas. I'm kicking, bro. No lie, I'm <laughs> oh, yeah, kicking if I niggas. Get drunk, I'm kicking too. Like I'm kicking, I'm grabbing, pause, all that. Y'all niggas know what I'm talking about. No gay shit. If I'm get, if you get jumped, bro, like, you gotta do whatever you can, bro. Like my uh, coach Nav. To, remember, you remember what Coach Nav taught us? Coach Nav, what? From freshman year? No. Nah, he said when you get jumped, you got to beat up somebody so bad that they stop. Like, remember we used to... <laughs> remember? Told that? I don't remember that. You don't remember? No. Remember? You was on the freshman team though, right? Yeah. Remember Remember we used to jump him in the in the classroom? Oh, in that pre-practice? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And remember, we used to jump him and then he would grab one of us until we stopped. Like, he used to grab Corey and like choke him out. <laughs> you don't remember that shit? We, yo, we used to hit no. him with the table, bro. Yes, this literally, people, this all happened, bro. We was hitting our coach with the table. We were, <laughs> it was mad fun in that room. I don't remember this one This one thing, though. You don't remember that? That's what he told I think. I think he told me that. I don't know. But shit, if if you get in jump, like, you got to grab one of them and like damn near kill that nigga. So they stop. you do that when it's four other people trying to get you. Hey, bro, you just got to focus on that one dude and just choke him out until they tell him, like, stop, stop. Like, use him as a, a shield or some shit, bro. Nah, that's not make it worse. That's gonna make yeah, it worse. Not get personal. <laughs> nah. Hey yo. It's best to get them all equally at all at once and then dip. Nigga, this shit not no anime. You can't just they go. There's one nigga just gonna hit you. You don't got no spidey senses. They can't all hit me at once. Like, it's just it's not, it's not a surface area. So you never seen you ever seen that video of that guy on Twitter getting jumped by a bunch of crip niggas? In the he was, jail. It wasn't in jail. It was in um. It was outside. Like he was getting jumped in, oh, and no. a nigga came up behind him and said, "I rocked him." And then he was just, they was just punching him and he was just like flailing his arms. He was like, fight back, nigga. And he was just rocking him. Somebody up a come. He said, you just see his face go up like that. I'm like, that's OD. Is he alive? Like- nah, he's straight. He just had like, his like eye was messed up. He had like a concussion. <laughs> it was bad. He got see, beat the fuck point, up, you bro. Yeah, I mean, yeah, get some distance. You just keep, keep distance? Yeah, 
It's all about the distance. So you think you could beat all five of them, though, eventually? I'm going for knees, bro. I'm kicking niggas' knees in. <laughs> I'm, go- I'm not going to say I'm fighting dirty, you know, bro. I'm going to, like, immobilize all five of them. You know? <laughs> yeah, I know. But, like, you'll fight probably, like, two of them and they'll stop. They'll be like, ah, ah, yeah, you win, you win. All right, that makes sense. That makes sense. All right. So, all right, so I got a question for you, right? So, say, say you get kidnapped, right? Mm-hmm. And they're going to kill you. But you have to eat the food that you hate the most, as much of it as you, you possibly can within an hour. They, there's no limit or, like, minimum. But, like, the more you eat, the better chance you have of, you have of surviving. Are you going to live? And, like, what's your, the worst food that you don't like? Like, the food you hate the most. Like, you have to eat it. You have an hour to eat as much as you um, as much of it as possible, or they will kill you. No, it's not even going to work. It's not going to work? No. Why? Bro, it's probably going to be peas. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> what? Wait, peas are, peas are disgusting. <laughs> you can't eat peas? Bro, if I even eat, like, a, 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 like a spoonful, I'm already nauseous. Okay, like, like, you know in Chinese food, they be having peas and shit sometimes? Or you ever had, like, fried yeah, rice, like, from... Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like it. Oh, I've only you... recently, if it's mixed in rice, I, I recently, like, oh, it's just started to grow top. up. I, now I, I, I eat it, I taste it, I'm like, all right, all okay, right. Okay, it's tolerable now. But are you talking like just peas? Yeah, straight peas. Like, a, they give you a whole bowl. The ones, some peas are stronger than others. It's like, <laughs> like I don't know, the, the peas that have this real strong aftertaste? No. <laughs> so you think it's deed for you? I'm going to just be throwing up. So like, I don't know if that's going to count. Nah, you got to eat. Yeah, no. No throwing up, I'm going to be dead. <laughs> I think I could. I'm the the food I hate the most is Brussels sprouts. Brussels, I never, see, I never even tried stuff like that. That's just disgusting, like that. bro. Yeah, like no. my mom, one time I remember she had it. She's like, just try it. It's good. I've never ate something that disgusting in my life. Like seasoning won't save that shit, bro. <laughs> Nothing would save that. Like I think, like if I would eat Brussels sprouts, like I could probably try, but like them shit just mush. It's like it's like mushy, and it's like the texture is disgusting. And, like, I think I could probably eat, like, maybe, like, 10. So, it's probably deep. Sounds like a lot. It sounds like a lot, but, like, they, I'm probably, it's probably deep for me. I ain't going to lie. They probably going to kill my ass. Yeah. Talk, eating it for an hour. First of all, I'm, after five minutes, I'm really just sitting there like, all right, just kill me, bro. <laughs> you really say you're making me eat some peas. Some, some peas, peas, bro. Same with broccoli. Broccoli is broccoli's up there. Broccoli? With, with peas. I mean, broccoli ain't all. It ain't that bad. It depends on what. It depends on how it's. I'm telling you, some of them be tasting different. Yep. I mean, I could, like, my mom been forced me to eat my vegetables a lot when growing up. So, like, I, I can tolerate, like, broccoli and, like, yeah, green I, beans. I ate broccoli growing up, but nowadays it be tasting so bad. I be getting nauseous. You do? Uh, yeah. I, uh, no. I hate being, I hate being nauseous. It's the worst. Ever. I feel like you. <laughs> it is the worst. You ever had food poisoning? Yes. That was the worst. I was very nauseous. I was, it was terrible. That I had food poisoning like uh, two weeks ago. I had to shit like literally a year ago, last November. Really? Yeah. That shit was like, Man. I was just shitting and throwing up, yeah. bro. Like right before, the day before UJ's episode, bro, it was so bad. Like I've never been in that much pain in my life. My stomach was hurting, bro. bro you just wake up, you think that we did morning, then the nausea, the, uh, the nausea always goes, it's not there the first five minutes you wake up, mm-hmm. then it comes. It comes back, like, bro. Uh, nah, that shit, that shit hurt, bro. Man. That shit feel like cramps like for women. Fuck that shit, bro. All right. Yo, do you consider cereal soup? <laughs> um, no. I, I don't I've never even thought that thought in my life. Like but like what soup? Soup. Soup is broth. I mean, cereal nah, is just milk, milk. Milk can't be soup because milk is milk. Soup has to be a type of broth. It has to be a type it of has broth. Has to be like, like So I think broth is like from a meat. Yeah, so, but, like, I thought, I think a soup is just, like, you just nah, drinking liquid. No, nah, a soup is, as is broth. Let me look up the definition it of soup. It doesn't even have to have nothing in it. It could really just be just the broth, and that's still a soup. Hold on, what's soup? Let's look at the definition of soup. A liquid dish t- typically made by boiling meat, fish, or vegetables. It's a liquid dish. No, don't a forget, liquid this, don't dish. forget the second part. A liquid. By boiling meat to get the broth. Made by. You don't have to. It's just made by boiling meat. No, it, it has in stock to. or water. Another one is a substance or mixture perceived to resemble soup in appearance or consistency. That definition was dumb. 
<laughs> soup kind of resembles soup, but hey, I don't know, bro. Soup could be a nah, cereal. Cereal soup, could be though. a soup. Nah, it, it's cereal is like milk with stuff in it. I don't know. Hey, soup is just broth with stuff in it. That'd it's be, liquid with yeah, stuff in it. You could put cereal in your broth into that soup. I guess you could what? <laughs> <laughs> oh hell no! All right, let me let me get out of this shit, bro. Let me get into the la- the good part of the subject, the good part of the day. You know what I'm saying? The would you rather's. I think I, I asked you a couple of them too already, right? Yeah. All right. So, would you rather live the best day of your life, but you don't know it? Wait, what did I say? Let me see. Oh, yeah. So, would you rather live the best day of your life and not know about it or, like, never die? So, be immortal. Live the best day of your life and not know about it. What do you mean? So, like, whatever is the best day. Like, say you have, like, a great day. The best day of your life. Like, some everything goes well for you. But, like, whenever the clock strike 12, it repeats itself and you never know about it. So, you just keep reliving. Like, say you oh. won the lottery. Oh. Or you have to... Say you won the lottery that day. And it's like, damn, this is the best day ever. Oh, I'm about to go buy all this, that, and third. Or... Or and never die. Or never die. Be immortal. I'm going to be immortal. You're going to be immortal? Personally, I wouldn't want to be immortal, but living the same day, even if it's your best day. I don't think I would want to be immortal. That's kinda I ain't going to lie. It's kind of sad living the... But you not. You don't know about it, It doesn't though. matter, bro. You really... Like, you, you could be living that shit right now. But that means you'll never advance. It past you would that. never know that you're not advancing. You just keep doing it. Like, just think about it. You just keep winning a million dollars every single day for the rest yeah, of your life. Yeah, but not be able to use it. Hey, technically, both scenarios, you never die. You're not dying. <laughs> you're just... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But, you know what I'm saying? You, you might be an immortal. You might have some shitty years coming up. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. You'll take being immortal? As long as, like, immortal as in when the planet dies, I'm going to die, right? Like. I'm not gonna be sitting in space and floating there, like, oh, damn, where I'm gonna be in the, in the next billion years? <laughs> Who knows, bro? But yeah, Shit. I'm gonna take them all over that. All right. not... I think I'm, I think I'm taking the days, bro. No. I'm taking it. I'll, I'll keep living that day. Show with his billion dollars, like a billion times in a row. Hey, brother, I would never know about. It. I'm just gonna be happy. I'm just being happy for the rest of my life, and I'm never gonna die. <laughs> just reliving that shit over and over again. Yeah. Fuck it. All right. So, would you rather? Like, for the rest of your life, sprint everywhere or walk backwards? Like, full sprint. Wherever you go, you can never walk again. It's just a sprint. Walk backwards. Walk backwards. Walk backwards bro. <laughs> I'd be walking backwards now. That's how slow I'd be walking. I'm not sprinting nowhere. But you, you should hear my coworkers. They be saying, like, yo, try, you do everything slow, man. But I know. <laughs> I think I'm walking backwards, too. Because, like, imagine sprinting everywhere. Like, you're going to be tired. But low key, you're going to, like, you, once you get used to that shit, You'd be tough. You might be fucking One Punch Man. I mean, imagine sprinting, like, just doing normal stuff. <laughs> like, like, trying to bring water up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> like, your heart is always pounding, bro. But then, yeah, go up the stairs backwards, too. That's yeah. Extra. Everything backwards, my boy. But at least Every- you're going slow, so, you know what I'm saying? You but take, like, you take your time. Like, damn, like, just imagine walking places. You're just walking backwards. You can fuck around and fall off a cliff. Like, you, you can't see where you're going. You, you could look, right? You can't turn around. <laughs> My nigga, you walking backwards. Yeah. Just, uh, you can get, like, you have to get, like, those, uh, rear view mirrors installed on your shoulders. You said rear view mirrors? On your shoulders, yeah. <laughs> you, you dead had to, like. Nah, I mean, I guess so. If you want to live, like, you might be walking, like, trying to walk across the street. Some, some nigga might run up on you never know about it. <laughs> you guys, shit, you, you gotta make sure you don't have no enemies and shit. Well, that's tough though. The rear mirrors, that's kind of tough. Rear view mirrors on your shoulders yeah, is like tough. Have them like right here. That's not tough. That's so tough. The fuck, like you SpongeBob and shit. <laughs> like SpongeBob. Remember that episode of SpongeBob where that nigga was learning how to drive, and um, he it was like Mrs. Puff got fired, and like yeah. they got a new guy, yeah. and he was teaching SpongeBob how to drive, and like he made him walk first. And like he had the little rear view mirrors on his shoulders. You don't remember I, that episode? I, I, no, I, gotta look. I remember the episode. I don't remember the scene. That's what happened. Like nigga was like he was like marching and he had like rear view mirrors on like his shoulders and shit. Yeah. So you would really walk backwards, bro? Yeah. I mean it kinda sucked still. Like I can't like I had to walk backwards forever. I can't like, you know, play basketball, take a little break to play some basketball. You nope. Know? <laughs> Just walking backwards. I mean you Nah, you can't play basketball. 
Deed for you. <laughs> no, I'm still walking backwards. <laughs> you don't want to sprint, bro? No, that's crazy. Like, you'll get there in a good amount of time. Am I, gonna, am I getting unlimited stamina with it? No, nah, you're going to oh, be yeah. tired. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that's smart, man. I ain't going to lie. You're honestly, smart, you man. Might, you might not live that long if you're really using that much energy. So you might, I mean, you might adapt to it. Like, it's just adapt a f- to sprinting every day for the rest of your life. Yeah, you you're might. Living a, you're living a shorter life. <laughs> you shorter might, life. low key, you might, you might live longer. Like, what if you just get used to it? Like, like somebody sprint, like my sprint might be as faster than your sprint. So like, you might just your sprint might be a run compared to me. So like, you might be not for long. You running after like the first like month, of course you're gonna be Usain Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> like of course when you're sprinting, like eventually you're just gonna like you can't sprint forever. So like you're gonna slow down. Yeah. But like you rather walk backwards. Man, you know how slow you're gonna be. You can't go nowhere. You can't even. I mean, same shit with walking backwards. You'll get tough at it eventually, spe- especially with the rear view mirrors now. Bro, you can't even run. You will never be able to run. You can't run backwards. You can only walk backwards. I mean, you could run. You could backpedal, All but right, that's backpedal. ass. You're not gonna be going as fast, bro. You say that until <laughs> uh, like a year in, and you're really like a, a backwards pedaling god type <laughs> shit. Like, you're like a backwards pedaling god is crazy. Yeah. Hey yo, I'll take that though. You'll take that. Yeah, that's respectable. At least I can control my pace. <laughs> <laughs> With your rearview mirrors on your shoulders. Mm-mm. Hey yo, bro, that's some funny shit. But I think that's all I got today, bro. You got anything you want to talk about? Like anything that's on your mind, anything you've been thinking about, any topics or discussion you want to talk about before well, we head one out. One thing. It's funny you brought up like the. Uh... The secret or like Illuminati, like yeah. people. I was just thinking like the music, the music industry, mm-hmm. like the labels. Yeah, you know what's going on, like when they be talking about like oh. they sell your souls or like for like the labels and stuff. Supposedly, like, like you know, you ever heard like the Twenty Seven Club? No. Like supposedly, there's like there was like a group of um, I think rock members or rock artists that. Uh, when they turned 27, they would just die randomly, like overdose or some shit like that. And they said, like, they're part of the 27 club. Like, once you reach 27, like, and you sold your soul to the devil to for fame, like, you will die. And, like, there was, like, a whole bunch of them. And then, plus, like, you heard about that guy that just recently, that rapper that just recently died. His name's, like, Drakeo or some shit like that. I think UJ posted him. Drake, yeah, yeah, yeah. He he supposedly died. He got stabbed. Oh, he got stabbed after the, his, his show, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know by who, but like supposedly, like he was signed to Empire Records, and you know who else was signed to them? Hmm. King Von, freaking yeah, that's what I'm saying like all them other niggas like Mo three like, dying. Talked about they like like for Ju- Juice War, for example, he died off pills. Like I understand, even when you're famous and stuff, mm-hmm. like, you're not gonna be happy. But like, do you, like do you really want to kill yourself? Like like that wouldn't make you like, want to kill yourself. Like, he there has to be something else going on where he was really ODing off pills. I don't know, but I feel like the industry is very bad. Yeah. Like a lot of people be trying to expose the industry. Like, um, Whoa Vicky was talking about that shit. And, um, I forgot what that other guy's name. He's like a really famous, he was a famous YouTuber. Hmm. He was like a white dude. Even Rod Way be low key, low key hit that, hitting that in his songs. Talked about like he got his dream, but it ain't like it ain't what he thought it would be. That's stuff facts. Like, stuff like that. like, That's facts. Hey, you never know, bro. Like, you never know. Like, like a lot of things that we know, like, like, a lot of people, like, they want to get to where they're at because they see, like, all the diamonds and the jewelry and the money and shit like that. But really, what if that's all, like, a trap? Like, all them all them people on the top, like, all the rappers and artists, they're all just puppets to whoever's controlling them yeah. just to sell their soul to that's, what that is. That's why when rappers go independent, like, Chief Chief, you really don't hear about them no more. Exactly. Like, was, it, was Fetty Wap? Independent or did he sign the label? I have no idea. Like a lot of them, like Chief. I mean, Chief Keep. I feel like he's just enjoying his life, though. I'm saying though, but like he he went independent, and like you don't. Whoever bumps Chief, you still bump him, but yeah. you don't see him like. That's true. On like social media or nothing or whatever. Like you know those um those twin boys, them little island boy niggas. Yeah. Like I feel like those niggas is just hate, hate seeing them. They look stupid. I hate the yo. They're so <laughs> ignorant, bro. I hate niggas <laughs> like that, but like they always just flexing their money and shit like that. Like yeah. there's no point of that. Like I feel like. Like, I feel like niggas like that, that always, like, flex their money and, like, buy jewelry. I feel like those niggas, like, if niggas were to sell so- their souls, I feel like it was those niggas. Because, like, like say now, right? Would, like, if you get famous and get all that money, like, would you do that? Like, would you buy, like, a $100,000 chain 
a hundred thousand you would buy, like would you buy a hundred thousand dollar chain to be honest like like be honest a hundred thousand dollars how much if i made five million jakai you would spend a hundred thousand dollars on a chain bro why jakai why <laughs> why would you spend a hundred k on a chain if i would that is a crib just one why a hundred k though you could get a regular ch- like what's the well, point see, maybe not a hundred k like what I, I would just want to get a specific chain Okay, that's fine. Like, yeah, I, that's, I, I don't know. What if it costs 100 k I mean... If, what if I want, like... Okay, then big ass... logo with diamond plated. However much it costs, I'm going to get it. But okay, I'm going to get that fine. one. I'm not going to be like... These rappers are like... Talking about some like five... Five, five watches, watt? Like, like what's all, the no. point of all of that? But like, did you ever realize... Like, under, like, ask yourself, like, what is the point of all this buying and shit? Yeah. Like, it seems like they're wasting all their money. Yeah. Like, I heard, like, when you get signed to a label, like, they give you money to go buy shit like that. I heard they gave you money, but it's like they be getting niggas because it's not really their money yet. I heard they have to pay that back. Like it's like a loan. Mm-hmm. For the yeah, beginning. and that's why a lot of rappers be in debt too and be broke. Exactly. Like they'll, they'll be reading like the contracts and stuff. Like when you like, I guess once you sign the contract, they'll give you money to like look the part. Yeah. But like, like they'll probably give like fifty thousand dollars to go spend on some shit, and like you know they start flexing their money and I shit like that. More. Well, it depends. It depends on which label and shit like that. Like I guess depending which artist, like what kind of artist you have and shit like that. But like, yeah. so they, I think they do that so that you can be on top of like the social media and shit like that. So it will make people want to watch you more. But like if you can't make that money up, then you're like in debt. Well, yeah, literally. Like that's crazy if though. You fall off is. D- like they're really paying people to buy stupid shit. Like I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Like, like you ever seen a uh, like six nine chain, that big ass chain? Like he had it was like this big. I think it was six nine, either six nine, or it was like a, it was like a big like flower and like it spins. That shit was like that shit was like oh, this big, bro. Yeah, that, I think that was six nine. What is the point of that? Like that shit is <laughs> that shit was like a hundred k for a chain, bro. Like there has to like like I don't know. I don't really believe in like all the selling your souls ch- souls type shit. Like that might be a little stretch, but I think yeah. some. I feel like somebody there's a higher up that's like making people do that shit. Like I believe like there's a higher up like, like forcing people to do that shit. It's definitely some sort of like organization. I just like higher than the government. Yeah, probably like along with them. Maybe like Related they work to together them. or some yeah. shit. Hey, but it might be them reptilian niggas that you're talking about. <laughs> literally, yes, literally. <laughs> Who knows, bro? It literally it'll it'll play into what you were saying about the gold and stuff. So that's really rappers like promote gold, like buying stuff, buying all literally chains and stuff. They influence mm-hmm. in the youth. It might be all part of their plan. That's what I'm saying. Like, cause if you so say like, say you have like a like I said this before. If you have a like a platform and people under you, they'll do whatever the fuck you say. Basically, like literally. little baby fans, whatever he say. Whatever he do, the four PF shit, that them niggas, them his fans gonna do it. Cardi fans, Cardi like, fans would Uzi do it. Fans, man, freaking Travis Scott fans used to kill themselves. <laughs> used to jump off of shit. Remember that? Uh, yeah. He used, to, <laughs> he jumped, he was paralyzed for Travis Scott. So, like, just think about it, bro. Like, that's some crazy shit. Yeah. Hey, we we stupid people. Y'all gotta stop this dumb shit. Nobody's dumbass change. Like, I I hate seeing people do that, bro. Like the Island Boys. They annoy the hell out of me. I like they just all they do is just talk about their money and shit like that. Like, oh, I make more money than you. That's all you can say. Bro, I don't even know what they do. They make music. Bro, they make booty ass music. Like I heard freaking, like I heard this guy like paid ten thousand dollars for a feature, and the the to song who? to the Island Boys, no. and the their verse was ass. Like it was really bad. Like he wanted his money back. <laughs> like like imagine I don't know he paid them anyways I guess for the publicity for the clout my nigga yeah. cause them niggas them niggas is everywhere bro They're just to be looking stupid yeah. like look how they look stuff, bro stuff that, like, we gonna see them a lot the next month or two and then they gonna be gone I'm hoping so bro hey them niggas got them niggas left uh, Logan Paul's podcast because they felt disrespected watch all that shit happen bro yeah, they start losing money yeah, yeah. all the nigga was doing just making just freaking giving them good advice they just couldn't take that advice. They thought he was saying like, "Oh, you guys gotta go broke or some shit like that." Speaking of Louis Paul, that Jake, that Jake uh, Paul fight was rigged. <sighs> and I know, I know you saw the clips. Where, I did. Where he, where he, put I, his, where he put his arm down. I know, but like, who? Damn. You think you think he's been rigging all his fights? I don't think I he don't, can. I don't know. All I know is that they could put his arm down. Yeah, but like when he, uh, so he got knocked down on purpose. Because he, when he, he dropped, he dropped. Oh. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He either he either lost on purpose. I can't say it was red. He either lost on purpose or it was set up. It mm. was planned. Like you think he like didn't, he didn't drop his arm though by accident. Like because on. Jake Paul, he, he's a he's still a UFC fighter. Like I know, like he could take a punch. Yeah. But hey, let's see if he can. If Jake Paul could fight a real boxer, like nigga was talking about Canelo. If can if he beats Canelo, everything rigged. No cap. I'm not gonna lie. There's no way in hell. There's no way possible. Fight fight Floyd, bro. I thought you know, yeah, freaking. Honestly, I don't know why like Floyd and Logan were even so close. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, what the hell? Like, like, like I know Floyd don't be knocking niggas out, but like, piece this nigga nah, up. That one was definitely for the money. That right. one, was the Floyd. Yeah, Floyd definitely had to deal with them. Come on. Like he could have fucked them up. Yeah. I don't know, bro. But just think about it. Like, the, especially those two, the brothers. Like they, they, they're smart niggas. Like they're, they're not they're, stupid. They're genius. So like, if this is all a scheme to make bread. They are finessing the hell out of us. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> They're probably already set. Like, Do you know how much money they, that fight made, the last one, Jake Paul fight? How much? How much you think? I don't know. It was like, I heard like they, they made so much that night than more boxers making their entire careers. Really? That's what I heard. I'm I, not going to lie. I feel like in the future, maybe like 20 years from now, like they're going to come out saying like, yo, we finessed all y'all niggas. These fights are bigger than like real fights. And they're not even, like, is he even it, professional? It, it, like tech- yeah, it is technically yeah. Is he like technically okay? Yeah, okay, it's, it's, but like it's not like this is more like the Pacquiao versus Mayweather and shit. Literally, is is like that yeah. Like way bigger and like that's like two different content, two continents, and it's way bigger than all that shit, bro. Yeah, I don't know, bro. It might be, it might be rigged. It might be rigged. I don't know, but I don't think. Like just imagine that was imagine you was Tyron Woodley, bro. That's your whole manhood. Like, like first it was Nate Robinson, yeah, and now it's no. Tyron. Nate, Will- Nate got fucked up. That wasn't red. He just got, he got his ass beat. But Tyron, would you do that for the money? Get knocked out. How much money is it? If it's like a hundred, a really hundred million. I really don't know. A hundred million dollars? I think I'll do it. Yeah, I'm getting. Maybe not twice. Like I need to. I need some. He got knocked out the uh, first one too. I think he just lost. Well, this time he got like he got fucked. He got clean. Almost killed. <laughs> he got clean. You do that for hundred million? Yeah, I do it for hundred million dollars. Especially like Tyron Willie's career in UFC was going like downhill. Mm, like yeah, like he know. went from the top, like with the best in the class, to just losing consistently. Just going like he got kicked out the UFC. Oh. Like he got cut because that's how bad. Like he just kept losing. Like he was the ch- he. I think he was like he had like. He was the champion at one point. And he had like, he won like three title fights to just continuously just losing. He just they just cut his ass. Yeah. Because like, I think in the UFC you get contracts and shit like that, and if you can't like keep yeah. up, they just cut you. But it made sense. He needed a check. Hey, bro, he did. He got that shit. <laughs> like just imagine, like win, lose, or draw, you get a hundred million dollars. Crazy. Win or lose, you're getting money. So I mean, it's not a bad deal. Just to get knocked out, he probably knocked out all his life. He's a fighter. I know. I feel like he didn't even get knocked. Like the, oh, he the, probably faked it. If it was red, he definitely faked the knockout. I mean, the do- like the doctors were saying, like there was a doctor like reacting to it. He was saying, like, like when you get knocked out, like when you fall, like your first human instinct is to put your hands out. Mm-hmm. But like his arms were like down like this, so like he might have been actually knocked actually out. Not, well, yeah, I'm I'm sure like they they couldn't they couldn't like try to really fake it. Like that to make it believable. Of course, of course. So Jake Paul, right? Put, he probably really did put it all into it. All that, all into that one punch. All that one punch. When you get knocked out, do you did you see the whole fight or did you see like highlights? No, I, I straight saw the knockout. Oh, you just seen the knockout? Yeah. I wonder what I don't know what um round it was in. Like, it, was, it was round six. It was round six. How many rounds do they do? I don't. I know it's not twelve like normal boxing. I don't, I don't watch boxing. Oh, okay. I don't. I don't remember the last one. I'm pretty sure G. I mean, uh, Mayweather's went to. I think it was like eight, nine, nine or eight. I know it wasn't like a full twelve. No, no, it might have been seven. I know it was like either half. It wasn't that much. I don't know. It was like an exhibition boxing match. Yeah. You seen um Darren Williams fight? Uh, what's his name? Frank Gore. No. He Frank. Uh, they was boxing. Darren Williams fucked that nigga up. You know who Frank Gore is? Wait, Darren Williams, the nigga on the Pacers. Wait, no, I'm thinking the Darren. Nets. He was on the Nets. Oh, 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 oh Darren oh, Williams. Yeah yeah, 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 He um he fought Frank Gore. Frank Gore was a running back. He oh, played in know. the NFL for like twenty years. He not he didn't knock him out, but he was rocking him. Like there was a point where he punched him and just pushed him through the <laughs> through the little through the ring, bro. He just fell. But Darren Williams, like he's um he's a UFC fighter. He is now. 
Uh, I don't know if he's a professional, but like he's training, so like he knows what he's doing. But I think Frank Gordon knew what he's doing too. Hey, man, that's tough. I mean, he like what six three, so mm-hmm, like the biggest hell. Hey, like what? Like what do you think is going on with all these like f- like celebrities and shit like boxing now? Like why is this like a trend? Like just seeing niggas just you think that it's you feel you think it's just like easy money for them? Cause low key it is. Like just having celebrities just box each other, just fight each other. Yeah, because I think the nature of boxing, most of the money is made off like bets and stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and like we love like and the more popular you are, it's like a one on one. So like the celebrity already has clout. And now he just in a ring, people are like, oh shit, yo. I'm a bet on him. Yeah, like fucking let's say, let's say Drake went to let's say Drake started boxing. People are watching it. Oh God. And people are gonna bet, bet a lot of money on or, Drake or against him. Bro, probably, if probably Drake against. fought Meek Mill, bro. That, that shit would have numbers, like Drake, bro. Or Drake versus Trace Brown or some shit like that. That would be OD. Shit, Drake versus uh yeah, Travis do, Scott. <laughs> yeah, do fucking like Drake versus uh, Lil Wayne. Nah. That'd be a classic. They gotta do Drake versus Travis Scott, bro. I heard fucking Drake fuck this girl, bro. Who, uh, Kylie? Yeah. Bro, Drake like 40, Kylie like 20. They were fucking weirdos, bro. Freaking. I don't know. I feel like, like, I feel like the human nature, we just love like shit like that. Like, it just goes back to, like, the gladiator game. Yeah. Not controversy, just on, like, fighting in general. Like, you remember when we used to watch... Oh, like, yeah. niggas used to watch people die. Oh, yeah, the gladiator. Like, and they used to get excited about that like shit. Like, in Spartacus? Yes. I remember that, show. And, like, fucking... What, did they have gladiators in Game of Thrones? I didn't watch that. Okay, I didn't watch it either. I'm just guessing. But, hey, I think niggas just love boxing, bro. You just mix boxing with celebrities. That's just mon- easy money, bro. Think about it. Easy money. Pay-per-view, that shit go right through the roof. That's crazy. That's some crazy shit, bro. Dang, bro. But you got anything else you want to talk about, bro? So I got pee. Like, you got pee? I'm about to explode. <laughs> Go crazy, my nigga. Go ahead. <laughs> Welcome back, sir. All right, I got one more question before we end the podcast. <laughs> All right, I got... You You good? You straight? Yeah. All right. I was struggling before. I know. I, I see it in your face. I was like, is this nigga good? <laughs> But after that intermission, bro, I got one last question for you. How do you eat a banana? Well, I don't eat bananas. I used to, but... All right, when you used to eat bananas? Wait, why don't you eat bananas no more? I just don't like them. Okay. But, like, how did I used to eat them? Yeah. Wait, no, I'm not doing this. What? <laughs> I'm just asking the right, question. You gotta, you gotta peel it and then take a bite. <laughs> <laughs> that's the that's how you used to eat a banana? You know, you don't break that shit up? You don't say pause before you eat that shit? You just like stuff your face with it. <laughs> hey, as a kid, no, nah, I just. Hey, bro, I straight, I, that's I how I eat a banana. I ain't gonna lie. I straight eat it. How is you? Oh, you don't break it? Nah, niggas, niggas break nah, we, the banana. We put it in. We pause. We put it. <laughs> we put it straight in our mouth. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. But I think that's a good way to end the podcast, bro. But if y'all enjoyed the podcast, leave a leave a review down below. If you listen to it on Google Podcasts or Spotify, leave a review, rate us. Y'all can hate us. Y'all could give us a zero. Y'all could give us a one. If y'all love us, give us a five. You know what I'm saying? It helps us greatly. Helps us get in the recommended. Helps us helps us get into the algorithm a lot more for Apple Podcasts and shit like that. And if you're new, subscribe down below. If you want us to uh, talk about some new topics, talk about some conspiracies, talk about anything, anything, any random shit you think about. Just let us know. You can DM me if you want, you know. My DM's always open. Pause. That's crazy. Y'all could let me know anything you want us to talk lend anything you want us to talk about, we'll talk about it, bro. But follow us on all the socials. No regulars on TikTok, no regulars.podcast on Instagram, and no regulars podcast on all po- podcasts and platforms. I keep fucking up, bro. That should be that's like a tongue twist tongue twister. Podcast and platforms. Podcast and platforms. Say that five times fast. So go ahead, go ahead. Podcast and platform. Po- <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. I right, three times. Podcast and platform. Podcast and pla- <laughs> <laughs> See, that's your hard, people. I be struck. I be fine for my life doing this fucking <laughs> outro. God damn. But yeah, follow us on all the socials, you know what I'm saying? And happy holidays from yours truly and the members, you know what I'm saying? Merry Christmas. It's not Merry. It's, it's past Christmas, buddy. This is the past Christmas. Happy New Year's. There you go. Happy New Year's. You know what I'm saying? We're going to 2022 with no regular gangsters, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Damn, I said it like twice. Let me get out of here. We different than regular no records, man. Gangster.